move on to our next speaker, who is the director of games and technology for the website Na Ekranie.pl. He also has been involved in technological journalism for around 10 years. Uh, for many years, he was translating technological trends in the pages of the Polish edition of Stuff magazine, in which he was recently appointed the editor-in-chief. He's fascinated with cyberpunk and disruptive technologies. He's here to tell you how pop culture influences technology. Please welcome on stage... Emil Bożechowski. Hi. I'm working for, I'm M. Borzechowski, I'm working for pop culture site Na Ekranie, in which uh, I'm writing about technology. So uh, today we'll be talking uh, about how technology and pop culture influence, uh, influence each other. I thought for a long time how to approach uh, to this subject. I, for, I think that I could, for example, roll a joint, uh, put on uh, the boring company uh, cap and go with a uh, flamethrower in my hand and start gelling slogans about uh, everyone will come here next year in uh, electric cars and that our uh, children will spend next uh, holidays on Mars instead of Croatia. I could also, I don't know, maybe shave my, uh, shave my head bald, put on a thick turtleneck and in a very, very mysterious way say, but there's one more thing. Uh, Steve Jobs and Elon Musk uh, become a pop culture icons for a reason. There are some kind of visionary. They knew our dreams and how to sell them. We dream about electric cars, super thin laptops, smartphones, and especially crashing through space in Red Cabrio. Gabe Newell knew that we dreams about steam sales, and uh, Philip K. Dick believed that all of us, or maybe Android, believe of electric ship. My dream it's much more simple. I want for the true AI to be born. Before I go any further, I need to confess something. I believe too much in technology. When I was young, when I was a kid, I think that before I finish my, finish my school, there will be Star Trek-like machine, which can translate everything I say. I don't know, I was stupid. Um, but, you know, mm -hmm. I don't want to sound like a, some uneducated fool in front of you, so I asked my friend from work uh, to help me with translation of this presentation. Thank you, Alex, whenever you are. I uh, do hope that you didn't put too much uh, stupid jokes in here. Um, and, okay, I was naive, but I think that we are very close to fulfill my dream about artificial intelligence, true artificial intelligence. I think all of you know that movies and series. This is Blade Runner, Terminator, uh, Westworld, and finally, The Altered Carbon. Androids have a mm, well-established place in our pop culture. Uh, but if you think we are on the long way to create the real, human-like machine, you are mistaken. Look at this guy. This is uh, Atlas from Boston Dynamics. Humanoid robot that move, walk, and jump like an acrobat. I want to be as fit as it. We even have a bioprinted skin created by 3D printers, which is equipped with bioink. We have virtual assistants, Image recognition, uh, image recognition software, too. But there is not enough to create true artificial intelligence. True artificial intelligence needs to recognize what we see and what we say. It needs to interpret our words and translate it to language that our computer can know. Artificial intelligence must be as good in understanding human as professional simultaneous translator. Only then we create the true artificial intelligence. And when uh, uh, this is a voice recognition software, which is on the market for a couple of years, you can find them in your phones, 
and other smart devices like, for example, speakers or TV. They are imperfect. I know this. But if you speak slowly, they easily transform speech to text. We have voice synthesizer too, and intelligent translator, automatic translator. All we need is to compare it all together. A few days ago, during Kifa, we were presented with a AI-driven uh, AI uh, device called Poketalk, which, according to its uh, creator, can translate 74 languages on the go. Nice. But we need to remember that the first, or one of the first uh, company who created that type of uh, translator was Microsoft and Skype. Sadly, this type of uh, translator has a problem with our Polish grammar. <laughs> I don't know why, but this is true. Uh, at least uh, the pocket talk, you can fit in your pocket. Look at this size, and then this is a Star Trek automatic translator. We need to achieve the state when artificial intelligence mm, hmm, will be able to not only recognize what we see and so, um, but always, how to talk it? Hmm. Maybe we we'll start from our place. Uh, we need to start, the algorithm need to be as smart that they not only translate our words or sentence, but be capable of what we're thinking. Uh, artificial intelligence need to start really thinking, not only process the, da uh, the data. And when I'm talking about uh, AI capable of thinking, I see Hall from uh, Space Odyssey or Jarvis from the Iron Man. The assistants you can uh, talk with uh, like you would do with a human. We dream about that type of technology, technology for years. And it becomes true in 2011, when a guy in gray uh, turtleneck showed us Siri. Suddenly, talking to our phones become a possibility. And it was just the first step. Today, Siri fight for our, uh, for our attention with uh, Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, uh, Bixby, and uh, other mm, devices like that. Um, okay, I have uh, not much time, so I must uh, make some shorten. Mm. Okay, uh, this kind of uh, automatic translation of voice recognition system and intelligent assistants do not only listen us, they're talking back with us and can control our devices. Through Siri and company, but Siri and company are, uh, aren't perfect. They're still walking, or they, see, they are still sadly walking on faulty algorithm. Ask them a more ambitious question, and they, then we'll go nuts. They know only what they find in their database. Just like me, standing in front of you and pretending to know everything about uh, artificial intelligence when in reality I memorized the most part of the speech. If artificial intelligence will, be, will work as good as I, I don't see the bright future for it. And uh, okay, if you're talking about future, please welcome our special guest, Arnold. If I'm right, we uh, today have a year 2018. And in this movie, in Terminator, it was the year when uh, the first T-800 was constructed. Killing machine with a cybernetic body, oops, okay, uh, with cybernetic body uh, and advanced artificial intelligence. 
transparent AI aren't so smart. Where, uh, the, where did we make mistake? Mm. For machine like Terminator to exist, we need to teach our computers how to think. And uh, scientists used for that method called machine learning. We're talking about machine learning, a uh, system that can mm, automatically teach machines. We need to talk about this guy. Elon Musk co-founded OpenAI, software teach to play the games, Dota 2. Uh, this AI uh, participates in thousands of games, learning uh, the rules. After that, it was confronted with uh, actual player to check if it's able to win with him. OpenAI used the same knowledge uh, that all player, mm, that, that are available for all player. Uh, this AI looks only uh, on what is saw on the monitor. Effect, the first win with actual former pro player. Then it beat uh, a group of five pro players uh, in Dota 2. Finally, it lost uh, with uh, one group of players, but with every play, uh, this AI become more and more intelligent and uh, able to win. Machine learning can also improve uh, the machine ability to see. Uh, if you look at the androids on movies, they are so natural because they have no problem manipula with manipulating objects. Our scientists were able to create uh, artificial limbs, uh, but they can manipulate only that objects that are, uh, with, they are familiar with. But this is dense object nets, unusual artificial intelligence, which uh, interpret uh, the world and objects in, in, in this world as a group of points in three-dimensional uh, space. Thanks to that, um, this uh, AI um, can see more space, uh, more sp um, the, the more the the, the whole object uh, for for the whole size. Scientists showed uh, then uh, DON how to grab uh, the shoe by the tongue. After that, they. Uh, gave him uh, shoes with various uh, size uh, and the shapes. Effect, this uh, AI has no problem with grabbing them and put into the packet. Why? Because uh, DON know what is show, not only how it looks. This is a big step forward. And I'm not surprised that uh, AI, studying AI may frighten people. We're afraid that at some point, artificial intelligence will be, will outsmart humanity. Should we be afraid? Remember Minority Report and uh, Precox, who was able to force in who and when commit a murder. You know what? Uh, we are just a few steps from that reality. This is Chinese uh, citizen recognition software, uh, which is uh, composed for few elements. First of all, we have CCTV camera system connected to the net. Then we have smart glasses wearing by police officers. And finally, central artificial intelligence. This software uh, constantly scanning all the image, uh, images from uh, smart cameras and cross-check the face on it with police database. 
if AI recognizes uh, some wanted people, wanted person, it sends alarm to an officer. And you know, that, uh, uh, that AI has a lot of success. Uh, I present you just the two more impressive. 2.5 million. In August last year, uh, using only 18 cameras, system caught 25 people in 2.5 million crowd. Those, those guys uh, uh, came to International Beer Festival in Quindago, and if uh, ever, um, if you, <coughs> okay, if anyone say me, the beer is good, I don't believe it. I don't believe that. Also, uh, in this year, um, this system caught one wanted person in pop culture uh, concert Jackie Chunk of Jackie Chunk in Nan Chunk. I think uh, this is the real name. Uh, this guy was so shocked that police uh, catch him that he even don't want to uh, evade or something. Uh, China has uh, probably the biggest biometric base in the world. According to estimated data, they uh, have one for uh, 1.5 billion faces from all the world. But you know what? They want more. They want to create the true artificial intelligence uh, which can predict crimes. How? It's simple. For example, you go to the shop, buy the BB gun. AI recognizes it, but does nothing. But if you uh, buy the big garbage bag, shovel, and finally power tape, they uh, alert the police that you are planning murder. So if any one of you uh, want to kill something in China, I have a pro tip. You buy the gun, your friend will buy the rest, everything will be happy. Uh, some sometimes I think that in China there are department of watching science fiction, in which is uh, mm, teach to finding technologies in movies and make it real. Uh, as an example, this is uh, one of the episodes of Black Mirror. Uh, in which we are introduced to a uh, citizen rating system software, uh, in which everyone uh, you met can give you a rating on score one to five. The higher rank you have, uh, the better life you was. The people with lower uh, rank mm, were unable to, for example, rent a better car. And you know what? In China, they are testing uh, Zima uh, verification software, uh, which is a part of Alipay. Uh, they are creating, created this system because they want to uh, evaluate the credit worthness of their citizen, because they don't have, mostly don't have uh, credit history. Zima, mm, analyze four aspects of our life. First of all, general behavior. Then, our transaction partners. Then, purchase uh, history, and finally, social media activity. Uh, people who, for example, um, spend a lot of money on consumer goods, or play out games, or have a risky life, will gain less points than people who, for example, invest in their ch children. In theory, uh, Zima is uh, for voluntary. By achieving the, high, uh, the highest score, maybe worth, may uh, help you with getting a uh, better loan. Or, for example, don't pay for um, deposit when you rent a, a city uh, bike. But what is the most funny thing 
it's that uh, China want to introduce a social credit system similar to Zima before 2020 to all of their citizens. The black mirror is true. At the end, let's talk about another um, example of artificial intelligence from Black Mirror. Uh, remember um, episode, uh, the name is Hank the D DJ, it told the story about uh, how to search for true love by trying and errors. Finally, it was revealed that all we saw on the screen was just uh, an artificial intelligence simulation. If you ever think how uh, artificial intelligence work and how uh, Elon Musk uh, team teach artificial intelligence how to play Dota 2, you must watch this uh, episode. It's a great example of uh, machine learning. For there, we are just one step away to reality uh, from movies in which uh, hu humanity was destroyed by artificial intelligence. Either by turning them into batteries or killing us. Um, you know, with automatization and uh, become more and more common and with AI knocking to our doors, we are all in danger. There are even AI teached to write stories, movies, music, and even sport commentaries on the go. If we fail to oversee AI to be developed in uh, harmony with humans, maybe we all don't die. Maybe. Uh, I wish that before I will come to this, I finally get my Star Trek translator. Thank you very much. Have a, um, be nice for your Siri because you never know when he uh, could kill you. Thank you.